Welcome back guys, so today we will be continuing data structures and algorithm. So today we will be seeing uh, like linked list and a new topic is that like we will be seeing polynomials in linked list and first of all see let us see this is an example of polynomial how it looks like a variable is there it has exponent part it has constant part and it can be like anything. So we will first of all see the representation of polynomial. So Suppose we have an example like this 10 to the 10 x to the power 9 minus 6 to the power 5 plus 10. Or we can also write like this like in computers like this. So this is a coefficient. So I have done like this and for this I have written like this. So suppose we if, if you think like why we can't represent this in, uh, in array. We can do that but there is some restriction. Suppose we have an array A and we have like so this is the array now suppose we want to like uh, put the values in an array so for this we will put like 10 here and all the spaces this must be set to 0 4 5 is minus 6 this is this is this part represents the coefficient part and here we get put can put 10 so this part we can use as exponent this part right here is the coefficient and see but the problem here is that we are wasting loads of spaces here. suppose if the power if the coefficient was like 99 1000 it would take a huge array for that but we will not use array because that will consume lot of space so instead of that we will use linked list so first of all I just like uh, make the structure of a linked list so the structure will be written like this struct we are writing like p node polynomial node it has three parts coefficient this is the coefficient like coefficient in exponent this is the exponent right here and again we will use the next part like self-referential structure so we are using a next part to traverse so this is how it will be look it will look like something like this this is our three parts this is the coefficient right here this is the like exponent part and this is the next part so and the type definition will be done like this so type def struct P node this will be Pn so this was like the introductory part of the polynomial so in the next video I will be showing some operations on it so thanks for watching it